All right, folks, well, it's about 4.30 in the afternoon. We're still not done yet. <laughs> we got some, we got some pavement in there. Well, I'll leave that in there anyways. Oh, good grief. You never know what you're gonna get in this when you order a load. I mean, I don't think he knew it, it was in there, but that's okay. So anyways, we have this, uh, how do I manage to get this full right up to here? We're going to keep going, of course. But we're hoping to get this all done. She's not too much more. That's how we lay the rocks in. We just drop them in all like this. Then we pour more concrete, drop more rocks, pour more concrete, drop more rocks. You see, all the way along. We're hoping to get this all filled in by tonight. That's what we're hoping for. Oh yeah, that's starting to get hard already. And, and uh, we poured this probably, this one poured about 45 minutes an hour ago. I guess, but uh, as we're hoping, we're, we're to here right now, to here, so that's from there, from there, yeah, 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 all the way around to, boom, there, so you've only got to go from here, this corner, around to about there, yes, and we should be, should be done that part, and then there's just from here, just from this large rock we set up here on the form. I don't want to try to get that to show through the wall, but I don't think we could. I totally will try to put it somewhere else where she can see it. That's some quartz sticking through there. Way back when the earth was cooling down, uh, the quartz had uh, solidified in a funny place. But uh, anyways, we want to get this filled. This is only from here, four feet deep here. A little grasshopper in there. Huh. Four feet, four feet high, but it's 29 feet minus, minus. I want to cut another hole in here because you folks made some really good sense on here. I'm going to take that and leave that there. I'm going to cut a piece of it off. I'm going to put another pipe, piece of that pipe here through the wall. And I am not probably, I don't know if I'm going to run it to the ravine. I'm going to take this and I'm going to dig a trench out there eight feet deep. I may go back around those trees. If I destroy some trees, I'm not concerned. Poplar grows really fast here. They grow like a weed. Full growing tree is about 25 years here for a poplar and that's a decent size one. Anyways, I'm getting off track. Take this pipe, run it down there about 200 and some feet, come around again and then back through and into here, put a little fan. You know what? Um, I will actually run that pipe from there. It'll come through the wall but it will go up and possibly go to the main house to draw the heat down and just circulate it. You know, uh, I, I think anyways, or, or I'll build a box and run to the other side inside here, insulate it so it draws the air. I've been watching some real cool videos you guys have been posting for me and I really appreciate some of them are really, really neat. This geothermal stuff is pretty darn cool. I watched some on greenhouses. Bert Skelton's been sending me some stuff too, which is pretty cool. And Bert, we got what you mailed us today and we really, really appreciate it. We cannot thank you enough for that donation you sent us. We really, really appreciate it. That is going to help us out like you wouldn't believe. Um, I was actually wondering where and how I was going to get the material to form in this top but thanks to you we should be in the clear we should be pretty darn close I thought I was going to have to maybe take some time off this and go go to work for a few days uh, outside but uh, we can keep moving on the basement I think we should have this done I'm pretty confident we should be able to put the house on here as long as we don't get a lot of rain we should be moving the house by October before maybe even yeah so uh, and I thought of putting the concrete mixer up there I'm not sure if I can it wouldn't be a big deal It'd be moving gravel be just taking gravel of the bucket moving it up there bucket full of rocks move it up there the cement mixer up there honestly I don't know where I would put it though I even thought of tearing the outside forms off tarring the bottom waterproofing the bottom of the basement tear the outside forms off fill the ground up fill it up 
to four feet high and then put the mixer up a little ways. It's gonna get windy here, sorry folks. These guys. Yeah, I'm talking to myself. Don't you guys do that? <laughs> so, hey you. So anyways, I thought of, you know, I just, now I'll see the thing, and I, then I would have to recut all those, but I honestly thought of, once these are done, take the forms off, tar that, push, push the dirt in here against there, four feet up, and then set the mixer there and start working. Then have to square everything back up again though, that's the problem, I would have to square everything up. And here, I can't really set the mixer up here though, because this is lower than the wall right now. It's lower by a couple feet, so I'd have to set that mixer up fairly high to get the concrete to flow down into the forms. Even over here, like sure I could walk out here and spot, like right here, I could walk out to here and pour it in here, but how about all the way around? I honestly, I, I've been running through my mind. I've been even thinking of, like I say, once you get four feet high, pull these forms off, tar the wall, push the dirt in to the four feet height, start to bury the basin, then lift my forms up and work and continue around, but I don't know if I can. But uh, I'm not sure 100% what I'm going to do yet. But uh, what I do know is I'm liking the look of this getting done. And I think Heather is too over there. <laughs> she, she M. <laughs> M, M. M, yep. So we're going to get at this again. We're going to see if we can fill this up. Get this filled all the way around to there. It's hard work, I, I wouldn't say it's hard work, it's hot work and it's steady work, but it's not hard. So, uh, anyways, I'll show you how we place, somebody asked, Jeffrey asked us how we place the rocks in there. We don't really place it any specific way, but I will show you while we're doing it, how we do it. All right, folks, it's almost six o'clock and we managed to get to here. So we've only got just around eight feet more to go to fill up. Shouldn't take us too long. We'll show you how we place the rocks in here as we go. There's no method to it, really. We just try to leave the last little bit sticking up. So, uh, so we have a spot, hopefully, that when the new concrete gets poured on there, the ground don't try to push the new, new stuff sideways once it's on there, the, the new uh, concrete that we lay on top. There's enough jagged rocks sticking up there that's cemented in that should be no, shouldn't be any worry about site pressure, I hope, because we're almost at the top of the ground anyways here. I mean, we're, we're another, uh, well, another three feet, we're at the top, so four, seven feet up, and we're at the top of the ground, so, yeah, another three feet, I guess. So there'll only be about a foot or so sticking out, maybe a little more, of the ground, that is, uh, the concrete sticking out of the ground, sorry. Okay, I'm going to stick this up here. Hopefully you can see what's going on. We want to get this poured and then relax a bit.
That's just how we do it, folks. Make sure the sides are not sticking out wider than the next form, so it's not. Make sure the rocks aren't leaning and going outside the edge or the inside. We shake them a little bit too to make sure they set down in there so the air comes up around the concrete so there's no, uh, no honey foaming between the, the rocks and the forms.
pretty nice. We need a little more? Thank you. Alright folks, well that's how we do it. We just pour a little bit of concrete in there, drop some rocks in, shake it real good to get the air out from beside it. Then I come along and I lift this up of course. I take the staples off and I hold that inside the forms. I do not want that outside the forms when I go to put more boards on here. And I try to stick some jagged ones up there too. So when we pour the next concrete, hopefully it grabs onto that and don't slide sideways. Now this is, in my opinion, with it being this wide, this is like a form. I've seen people dig down, building barns, they dig down, and they would only build their form, say, uh, you know, I, I've seen them go 10 inch wide with a, with, a, with a footing, and this deep, you know, you go two feet deep, but this is going to be eight feet high, eight feet high, and right here is about 13, 13, 14 inches at the bottom at the doorway. And that one will be the same way there too. It'll be tapered. It'll be wider at the bottom. And it'll go to 10 inches at the top. So I'm, I'm hoping this wall helps hold the footing and everything in place. Because this was pretty dry here when we poured it. The back was a little wet. But it's dried right up now since, uh, since we put in the drains. As long as the rain don't run off the roof. I think that's fairly dry. I can't see in there. But I'll just show you here. There we go, yeah. So anyways... This here is already starting to get, uh, you know, a little firm there. Like that's, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be doing much with that right now. That's starting to get hard already. It's just getting a crust on it. Anyway, yeah, yeah, that rock, it's still movable. It'll still move a little bit, but it's getting to where it's getting hard to put fingerprints in it. Anyways, folks, you all take care, and again, Bert, thank you very much for helping us out. That's going to make a huge difference, uh, Bert Skelton. Thank you very much. So once we get that done, so I'm hoping two days on that, and we'll have it done. So really what it took us was, how did I, when we first started, we do it faster, but that day when we first started, it took us six hours to do that, because we weren't, we weren't uh, giving it really hard, but one day on that, two days on this with my cousin helping, and then it should take us two days on that with Heather and I. So that's that's five days in total to do our concrete. So, yeah, I'm on schedule. I like that. So as long as it doesn't rain too much, say we're calling for rain tomorrow, that's fine. But if we can get Sunday and Monday, if we can get that poured Sunday and Monday, we'll be right on schedule. Like I say, I do want to, I do want to put another hole in here. And I want to run that later out underground like you guys have been saying. Sounds like a good idea run it underground about 200 feet out, turn around and come back and I'll keep it about eight feet deep. Anyways, you folks take care and we'll talk to you another time. Bye-bye.